Yeah. Okay. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my presentation today is on the war against the Panthers, the study of repression in America. Uh, dissertation written by Q, Dr. Hugh P. Newton. This is a manuscript reviewed by Manny Ryan. Um, now, the Black Panther Party was an organization that began in the 1960s by Dr. Huey P. Newton. And the reason he began this organization was because he felt that his population was aggrieved because of the disenfranchisement that they suffered and because of the police brutality that was going on in the area of Oakland, California. And he felt that this was pervasive across the United States. Now, in order to give you an understanding as to what it is that was going on at this time, I do have a short video here that I would like you to watch. Violence. I just find it incredible because it, what it means is that the person who's asking that question has absolutely no idea what black people have gone through, what black people have experienced in this country. In the 1960s and 70s, Swedish filmmakers arrived in America to explore the black power movement, which the U.S. media saw as a violent threat. We're making a revolution by educating people to the fact that they should arm themselves for self-defense. Any racist dog police will attack us, we will defend ourselves because we are bent on surviving. Thirty years later, in the cellar of a Swedish television station, an amazing collection of unseen interviews was discovered with some of the greatest revolutionary minds in modern history. There wouldn't be an American who wasn't black people. We hold America to our bosom. When you get tired enough, it's when you want to sacrifice everything. Be ridiculed and discriminated and be less than a man. It's a question of dignity and decency. My husband didn't make enough money because he was Negro. We were moved and motivated and charged up by people who had already made a commitment to bring about change. Dr. King is a great man and he's very patient. Unfortunately, I am from a younger generation. I'm not as patient, nor am I as merciful. Black is beautiful, but black isn't power. Knowledge is power. <laughs> Because of everything that was going on, Dr. Huey P. Newton began the Black Panther Party. What they were about was trying to fight for their rights, trying to understand, trying to get everybody to understand what justice is. Now, normally when justice discussions occur, they come at a very educated level. And he believed that that needed to happen. But what he further believed was that for that actual change to happen, the grassroots needed to empower themselves and be able to change in that manner. So if we look at who Dr. Huey P. Newton was, was he was a revolutionary black political activist. He was the founder of the Black Panther Party. He obtained his PhD in social philosophy from the History of Consciousness program at UC Santa Cruz. And his dissertation is on his experience as the founder of the Black Panther Party. Now, what the Black Panther Party was about was, again, helping these aggrieved people be able to fulfill their destinies and, and achieve a sense of justice. Because of that, he created a free meals program for kids. Because of that, he created a newspaper so that they would be able to understand the atrocities that were going on in the society around him. And so, because he did these things, uh, the police, the FBI, the CIA, and the president acknowledged the fact that they existed, but furthermore saw them as the biggest threat to American democracy at that time. That's what his dissertation is about. His dissertation is about how it is that the system reacted towards what it is that they were doing. Now. If we look at his dissertation, we come to find what the central question was. Well, what steps can we take in society to truly make America consistent with its suppositions and ideals? The notion that America is the land of the free, home of the brave, where equality is pervasive for all and equal rights and justice exist is something that he felt was a lie. And it's something that he felt needed to be understood. And that is what this dissertation is about. Now, when we look at his research paradigm, we find that his ontology and epistemology are both interpretive. He's understanding what it is that was going on at that given time, and he's explaining to us how it is that this occurred. Now, his methodology is, qualitative, is a qualitative study through personal experience and research. He himself founded the party. He himself was incarcerated. Uh, his friends were incarcerated and killed. Uh, with the release of the COINTELPRO, a program that was used to de uh, disseminate the Black Panther Party and other organizations as such, material was out there for him to research and be able to put this dissertation together. Now, what is the methodology? 
Dr. Newton's approach in this dissertation is mixed with the narrative study, ethnography, and phenomenological approaches. The method employed to substantiate this theory is an examination of numerous measures undertaken by the government to, in the words of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, expose, disrupt, misdirect, discredit, or otherwise neutralize the Black Panther Party. They had it an agenda to take them out because they felt that they were a huge threat to American democracy. Now, what are the key ideas in this dissertation? Dr. Newton's study finds its importance in the concept that several of the original problems in American democracy have endured with increasing consequences for the full realization of democratic government in the United States. For it to be a truly democratic government, that means everybody does have equal rights, everybody does obtain a sense of justice, but he felt that this wasn't going on. Now, according to Dr. Newton, the two crucial problems which have hindered the development of a truly dem democratic government in America are, one, class and racial cleavages. Dr. Newton believes that these have historically been the source of division and bitter antagonism because, between sectors of American society. He saw capitalism as an effect of this, as something that created this, because this creates uh, class hierarchies and it allows us to de devalue a sector of people. Secondly, the inherent long longstanding distrust held by the American ruling class of any institutionalized democracy involving the mass population. For it to be a truly American democracy would mean that everybody does have an equal voice, that everybody's vote does count. However, that is not what is actually the case according to Dr. Newton. What is the case for him is that there are certain people in power that allow for things to go on, not the people themselves. Now, what did I find are the salient strengths and challenges to this qualitative approach? I believe that the strength and challenge in this case are on the one and the same. The closeness that Dr. Huey P. Newton has to the issue as one of the original founders of the Black Panther Party make him prime to detail the experience of those who were trying to cultivate the change. He was on the front lines and was placed behind bars, so he himself was able to experience the ramifications that challenges to the system will result in. His proximity to his allies also serves as an advantage, given that they were able to communicate with one another and truly understand exactly how the system was attacking them both individually and collectively. However, this is where the problem also lies. In his dissertation study, he only focused on his own narrative, his own perspective, and those of his colleagues. I feel that this would have been much more stronger had he gone with the FBI and actually interviewed them and understood, aside from the paperwork that was released, what it is that their perspective and what it is that their narrative was. Because he didn't do that, he's open to ad hominem attacks where people attack him as the person he is rather than the research that he produced, and ultimately those were my findings in this. Thank you. Thank you.